in this video here, we're gonna show you how to set up an account on the newest version. So the oldest version was version 1.7.7. Okay, if you come to the menu, the three lines in the top left, and you go to about, you'll see the latest version now is version 1.83. Okay, so by default, in the top left-hand corner, it'll show you as not logged in. So if you choose not to create an account, that's perfectly fine. You can go to your serverless and any devices you previously had before the upgrade will already display under your serverless as shown here. Um, it's beneficial to create an account uh, creating an account automatically logs and syncs your devices to the cloud. Meaning if you left your phone at home and you needed to check on your cameras, you could borrow a friend's phone, download the app, and then log into your account and be able to see your, you know, your home and your, or your business. Um, your phone gets lost, stolen, or damaged, and you did not recently do a update to the, the, the iCloud or to iTunes, you know, all your devices would be gone. Versus if you had an account, once you got the new phone, you just re-download the Paramount CMS app, come here, log in, and all your devices would be there. So the way to set up the account is only done through the app. So you tap on the not logged in, okay? And you'd come to register, okay? You agree to the terms, you put in your email address, so in this case, we'll use Mike Schumann. Okay, you create a password. Register now. Okay, now what's going to happen here is it's going to send an email code. Um, you're going to check the email address that you set up. It's going to come and the subject line is going to stay star vision cloud verification code. So that's what you're going to look for. You have two minutes to enter this verification code. Again, it's star vision cloud verification code. Within there, it'll have a six digit number and that's the verification number you will put in to complete your registry. So we'll go ahead and enter in this code. Finish and registered successfully. So now when you click on the menu, you'll see now you're logged in and it'll have your email address up there in the user. When you go to your server list, your device is now there. So it's automatically taking your devices that were in the server list prior to being registered and automatically populating them. So again, just remember that these are devices under your server list only. It's not under your or my device list. So when you go to account information, this is your actual account. Um, you know, now if you added a device here, this would show under my device and that's where you can share. And in the other um, sharing video or the account overview video, we go over how to add a device, how to share a device. But the my device under the sharing is different than serverless. So at the top, you'll see serverless versus me coming here, hitting the three dots and adding a device that would show under my device. So my device is where you can share devices. Serverless is just the same as prior to when there was no creating an account. These devices are just automatically synced to your users. So again, you lost your phone, you forgot your phone at home, you can use a friend's phone, log out of their account, log into your account, and your devices would show there.